Hi, my name is Ashwara Mahapatra. I'm a software engineer too at Google Bangalore. The first time I was introduced to AI, our college organized a hackathon. Me and my friends thought of building something cool but helpful at the same time, so we decided of building a sentiment analysis system. It takes in the text and tells you what's the sentiment of that text, whether it's angry, happy, sad. So that was my first introduction to AI, I would say. Something interesting about myself is I'm very expressive, free-spirited and never fear to pursue anything. do and learn. The theoretical part of the technology is important, but at the same time implementing those ideas in the form of project. So take up a side project or take part in a hackathon and have all those crazy ideas going on in your head in the form of a project. Another advice from my side would be to go ahead with collaboration and teamwork because whenever you're working on a project, you need teamwork. So one of the side projects that I'm really proud of is a heart disease predictor. So we used Google Collab for basically collabing over the code. We ended up building that system which takes in different attributes from the patients and tells the patient if they have a heart disease or not. The first one is AI can be treated as an entry point by the aspiring female developers. They can leverage AI to learn about the technology, learn new languages, frameworks, and implement it in the form of a project. The second benefit, mentorship and networking. Even after upskilling themselves, a lot of aspiring female developers don't know what to do with their career, what career trajectory to choose. And this is where AI can help them match with the right mentor. The third benefit is enhancing the remote work from home experience. A lot of female developers all across the globe are mothers too, and they have to juggle between their personal and professional life. This is when AI tools can be leveraged to enhance this work from home experience.